안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And today I want to show you why I try to never connect to public Wi-Fi and why connecting to a public Wi-Fi could be dangerous. I want to show you and we're going to recreate the attack to how you could get your password stolen by using public Wi-Fi, all right? So, what I have right here is a computer running on Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a Linux distribution that has many hacking tools. It's basically built to hack or to test systems against hacking. It's for security people. And also here we have a Wi-Fi adapter. This adapter can pretend to be a Wi-Fi, okay? So we're going to combine these two, the adapter and Kali Linux, and we're going to recreate the most common scenario. They go there, they see a Wi-Fi network, the network has no password, so they happily go inside of the network, and the network will ask them to log in. Sometimes you log in with Facebook, Instagram, leave us a like or give us your email, whatever. Okay, so we're going to recreate this thing, except that there's gonna be something dodgy going on when somebody logs in into this Wi-Fi. So we are going to say that this Wi-Fi is going to be named Nomad Cafe, all right? And we're going to say that it's for free, okay? Now, this thing is going to restart and it's going to create a fake Wi-Fi that everybody will be able to see. So we start here, it should die and now it starts it again, okay? So now please, on your phone, So you believe that you have internet and everything was okay, except that that wasn't a real Facebook page. That was a clone of the Facebook page that I made. That was all fake. It wasn't Facebook. You didn't go to Facebook. And the password you put was Nico Babo. <laughs> and your email was linhey.com. So the person of this attack will say, you know what? I'm logged in. I have Wi-Fi. Nothing is weird. The thing is that I have your password right there. This page could be changed to anything, to your Instagram, to your Facebook, to your whatever. But the most dangerous part of this attack is what if we take this antenna and we go to a coffee shop or we go to the waiting room of an airport. All right, so now I'm creating a network called Nomad Airport Wi-Fi, okay? So I have right here your card number, your card expiration date, your card verification code, your email, and your postal code. And imagine that this was real. Imagine that we are in an airport. Me, I would fall for this thing because when I'm on an airport, I want Wi-Fi. I see $10, I'm like, okay, let's do it. But this is the danger. Usually credit card companies, they work and they know where you are based on your location, right? And they know that, for example, if you go to the airport and you pay for a coffee, they know that now you are on the airport in Singapore. You already bought a coffee on the airport. Then your credit card company is not going to think that this is weird because I'm just purchasing something else with your data from the same airport. So that's the problem with this attack is the fact that you can do it so close to the target that is not going to raise so many alarms. And also, what happens if you put this on the waiting room and then you just take a plane? So maybe when you land and you are gonna enjoy your trip, maybe your credit card has been blocked because I tried and it didn't work, or I tried many times, or maybe I spent a lot of money. And that's the problem. So how do you fight against this attack? The most easiest way to fight against this attack is to basically don't join any public Wi-Fi network, any. I don't do that, and when I do, I always go with a VPN. Never, ever, ever buy anything from those login screens that you see on the Wi-Fi network because those are the easiest ones, and they look legit, and as you can see, the Android operating system, they just basically take you there. They say login, they open it for you, they don't do any security check, and nothing. As you can see, this attack is extremely dangerous, and it's very easy to replicate. All you need is this, you need some knowledge of Kali Linux, and that's it. And you can just put this under the tables on a coffee shop, and then just wait and see who falls. Now, there are more attacks that you can do. For example, you could also make other people disconnect from the network. So for example, if there is an official network called Nomad Coffee, this thing can make your computer disconnect from that network and connect to a network with the same name. 
and then you believe that you are connected to the network from your house. This is also how, for example, people steal Wi-Fi passwords from their neighbors. There is another attack that could happen. Many websites that I've seen don't have HTTPS, they have HTTP. If you have an HTTP website, if you go there, through this thing, I will be able to see literally everything that you're doing on that HTTP website. If you go to Facebook, for example, and Facebook has HTTPS, I will just see that you are in Facebook. I wouldn't see the content of your messages. So always use also HTTPS websites and ask your governments and ask your websites that you use to have HTTPS because that means that even if you are on a Wi-Fi like this one, a fake Wi-Fi, the attacker wouldn't be able to see what you're doing and that's already good enough. That's it for this video. Let me know if you like these sort of security videos. There are more things to explain. There are more attacks to recreate. And as you know, I started my life as a programmer because I wanted to learn how to hack. So I do have a lot of passion for this subject and security. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida, saranghyo. Stay safe. Bye-bye.